precursors of the mills known to us, situated on rivers and driven by water wheels, are the so-called turbine mills, which remained in smaller mills up to the Middle Ages. These horizontally driven mills usually had direct contact with the millstone. As there was no transmission, these types of mill were not used in large mills. Most of the large mills that developed in the first century AD were probably driven by animals and water power. Vitruvius describes in some detail water mills that were driven by a vertical water wheel. The remains of such a mill can be found near Avanchet in Switzerland, as well as along Hadrian's Wall in Great Britain. The remains of a fast-running large mill are also to be found in the Vicus Zugmantel in Germany, which show a lantern-shaped crown wheel with four struts and iron driving gear. It had a gear drive which transmitted the slow turning of a large cogwheel onto the crown wheel, multiplying the effect. These methods of grinding were used from the second half of the second century AD. This type of transmission and suspension of the upper millstone has not been found in earlier mills. This method, driven by water with mechanical transmission, of grinding, was far more efficient than capstans driven by animals or men and was used in modified form up to the modern age. <laughs>